sure if this is a pajama set from Target, but I love it. It's this little waffled linen moment that's going on. I don't know, the shirt does give like a little bit bedtime, but at the same time, it's like a cute little set. You know what I'm saying? The shorts, super cute. They are white, so they're just like, I wouldn't say they're see-through. I'm wearing a nude thong, but you can't really see that. I got the bottoms in an extra small, and I think the top in a small. This top is from Talentless, and I'm wearing my forces. Uh, we're gonna go to this little sweet spot that one of you guys, you said your boyfriend works at, and it's like in the heights out here or something like that, so I'm really excited to try that, and I'm gonna get Mason a little sweet treat. I wanna do a little unboxing right now, actually, so I'm gonna bring a few of the boxes that I got over here because I'm super excited for it. I got rid of the box of one of these already just because Garmin Logica had sent me a few goodies. There's a headband in this too that Mason took. This little tote bag, so freaking cute. I don't have Bacne. My struggle with my skin is hyperpigmentation, but this is their clarifying Bacne spray. And I think that this is great. Like what a great tool. Cause I know a lot of people do struggle with it. Also sent their clearing defense SPF 30 and it says, don't forget SPF. I can always use some more. So I'm excited for this. I'll have to try this out and see if it leaves any type of cast or anything because I feel like on brown or melanated skin, it shows up a lot more if there is a cast. So we'll see if it's brown skin friendly. And this package, which is super exciting. Oh my gosh, okay. I bought like a case of the Clean Skin Cub towels because they're fantastic. And they saw my TikTok and they reached out and they were like, Libby, we would love to send you some goodies. And they're like, you should get our luxury bamboo towel holder. And I said, that sounds great. So they ended up sending me an entire box of goodies. I have the 50 count that I bought, but this one is another 50 count of the XLs. And they also sent bamboo towels, the extra large. Okay, per. This is their bamboo container, which I'm super excited about this. Let's see. So you can put your entire box into this goodie. Oh my, wow, stunning. <gasps> and it comes pre-filled, no way. <gasps> Wait, I'm so excited about this. Wait, I have like a million towels and I love these. I think Wit was using them first and I was like, let me try those out. And it's made such a difference in my skincare, I swear. Hi ma'am, is that the shoes you wanna wear? We also got their clean swabs and they sent products too. Clearing mist, it's salicylic acid, rose extract and eucalyptus oil. You got it? Good job. Sweet Dream Mango Cream Nourishing Moisturizer. Pineapple Glow Mist. Brightening Eye Cream has matcha, fortifying cleanser, honeydew white tea, and 5% niacinamide. Wow. Vitamin C brightening booster. Okay, and then this is their, oh! I've never owned a gua sha in my life. This is an amethyst gua sha stock. Jaw, the skin is going to be popping. The lymphatic system, <gasps> stop. Look at her. What? Do you see this color? What? Oh my gosh, Clean Skin Club, you didn't have to, but so happy you did. Next up, there's, what, two or three more things? This is a Dermadot. You guys know I love a good acne patch, I swear. I love some acne patches, so I'm gonna see if there's, do the trick. This is daytime, nighttime, vegan, cruelty-free. There's 60 patches in here. That's a lot. And this is their extra large face pads. A Q-tip, basically. Lastly, facial cleansing wipes. Okay, love this. I don't wear a lot of makeup, but if I wanna just, you know, scrub my face down, this would be fantastic. So, huge thank you to them because what in the world? I feel so freaking blessed and happy. And I love taking care of my skin. You guys know my skincare game is on 10 right now. So I'm excited to add all of these goodies in, especially this little bamboo box. They have another package that's supposed to be coming from La Roche Posay, which I'm so excited about because I use their hyperpigmentation cleanser and it's fantastic and I swear it makes a really big difference in my skin. But as of now, I've got all the good, like this is crazy. My skin is about to be popping. Just a look at all of this. kiss you're so cute the place that we are gonna go is called fluff bake bar but they're only open like wednesday through sunday so we're at small cakes i don't know it's a little cupcake place because i already told mason that we we're gonna get something and now she's saying cupcake so we're gonna go inside and grab one of these and then we'll head out back to the house and then 
the GYM. These are the goodies that we got. They said there was like a buy five, get one free. I was really just trying to get two. Not even gonna lie. Look at them though. They're so cute. We got two wedding cake, one strawberry, one pink vanilla, a caramel crunch, and then she got the one with sprinkles. Y'all, listen. We're about to go to the gym. We're literally in the car. I just have to back out so we can have some better light a little. And I have been, not a slander, but I just haven't been somebody that will wear the minimal sports bra from Gymshark because I'm so side boob and under boob heavy where it's just like spilling out, it feels like, especially from the side. Like, I don't even want to show you. Today, I said we're going to say F it. And like, they're out, but they look good. You know what I mean? I have one strap off, one strap on. So we're going to see how it goes. I think I'm going to do upper body today. But it's so cute. It's just obviously a bit in your face and whatnot i said you know what it's fine so if you want to get a minimal bra hey look at my little tumbler this is from alani they just dropped brand new ones and they're so freaking cute and it low-key matches me i love that so we're gonna go work out let's do it I don't know if you could still see the sweat. I don't think I've ever been so hot and toasty, right Mace? It's 97 degrees, 98 degrees outside. It's also very toasty inside. I don't think I can wear one of these bras again to the gym. I might try, but like, it'll probably be unsuccessful. We're sitting here waiting for uncle because I was like, I'm getting some air. I have to go. I'm so sorry. He's just finishing up his core workout. It was a good workout. I did upper body and I found a new tripod inside and I was like, oh, I like this. Let me use it. But we're going to go home, maybe eat a little bit and then we're going to go swim. But it's still so hot. It's literally five o'clock right now. So we'll see what the day takes us. Hopefully we get to go swim. Now. Oh, I wrapped it into a little ball. Yeah. Okay. So we just got done swimming. It's like eight o'clock at night we went over to lee and caitlin's and mason got to swim with legacy which was really fun but we're about to take a shower jj's in there right now and it was so fun it was so cute but i just came home to a case to Fi package and i figured we could open it together it's an unboxing day shout out to case to Fi for sending this over i'm excited and i did take my phone in the pool i was using it underwater it's dead now so i can't charge it because the port is still wet but once i can i will to, like go look at all my videos and everything but this is what they sent me two cases so the first one is this hi bronxy this is what it looks like. It says, have a good day, have a good day. All around it, and it's like a little smiley face, and it reminds me of my merch. Little Bad Day Still Luxury merch, and I thought it was so cute. Then I just got this one, which has little white flowers over it, little like daisy guys. I love these cases because you can see the little white thing. My current case, honestly, is also, it's a case by case with no print on the back, but it's MagSafe, and I have MagSafe dock and mount in my car, and they're just the best, but Case by has fantastic cases. This is not sponsored. I just actually love them, and I exclusively use their cases a bumper case because it has these guys on the edge this one's just a standard one so it doesn't have the little bumper guys but they're super cute so shout out to case for these if i still have a code you guys are more than welcome to use it but if not honestly search on youtube because case does work with a lot of creators and i'm sure there's a code floating around for you to save a few dollars we're gonna hop in the shower and then after that we usually have started bedtime quicker than this but we grabbed dinner i just ate mine mason's eating hers and then we watch a little movie and then mason usually will fall asleep and then that's when i have time to like get a lot of my other work done good morning we've got errands to run today i just did my little braid but i filmed it for i don't know somebody commented and how asked how i do a little slick back i showed you guys it's not hard it's not hard but sometimes with curly hair it can be a task to get it all consistent Feel, don't feel you know what I'm saying so we're gonna go to the fluff fluff bakery thingy that somebody recommended because they're open today I think that we're gonna get sweet green as well so we're gonna hop in the car head out run some errands and then come back and go to the gym it doesn't feel like it's only Wednesday I think that we've just been moving a lot and I don't really realize what day it is so this is the cutest little place look at this it's in the heights thank you <laughs> I am here eating my sweet green. He's got the little kids one and it's so cute, but two different cookies. So let me show you which ones we got. This was Mason's choice. It says happy father's day on it, which I just think is hilarious because 
She was so set on it. And then I don't even know what the other ones are called, but we got Snickerdoodle, one that has peanut butter and chocolate, and then I think another like crunch one. I'm not sure, but I'm excited to try those. And then after that, I went to go pick up pho because typically I would love to eat pho and eat in the restaurant, of course. Since we're gonna be working out today, last time I had pho before my workout, my stomach was not enjoying it. So I said, I'm gonna go pick it up. And since we were already in the Heights, Ajazi and I love a place over there called Pho Bin. And I just called it in. But when I went in there, a girl named Victoria, literally a queen, a gem. She was the sweetest thing ever. She came up to me as I was holding Mason and she was like, Libby, we talked for like 15 minutes and she was just the kindest soul ever. She's been following me for, for so long. It's so cool to see that like somebody else has paid so much attention to me and my life Just followed along and we can just spark up a conversation because you guys know me so well a small detour We're actually not going to the gym because JJ is getting a haircut because he's flying to Kansas City tomorrow So we're heading downtown You said that you needed me Like a cargo gonna be able to see but i don't want the reflection mason is asleep and in bed thankfully she's now a shower girl so we can just suds up and wash off and get clean real quick instead of having to take like an hour-long bath time moment but she's in bed thankfully and now i'm upstairs just doing some work going through my emails and everything and in the morning we have to wake up because jj's flying back to kansas city he has a show there which is super exciting for him i wish that i could go but obviously i have stuff that i have to do here mason is gonna be going home i'm so torn up that she's going home next week we're gonna be driving her like halfway up towards like dallas and then my dad and sister are gonna come grab mason do a little swap just like we did when we were younger with our aunt and uncle so yeah i'm gonna be torn up when she leaves but it'll give me a new sense of like hopping back into my own reality like it's been so fun to have her here and it's also been a challenge which i have enjoyed so much because not only am i obviously thinking of another person and every single thing that i do but it's been interesting to see how i integrate mason into my own schedule and i won't lie it was really difficult at first because it was just just so much at once I think but we really got into a routine and I'm loving it because she really just comes with us everywhere but just having like a wake-up time and then a breakfast time and just having that type of structure that I've never had to have for myself but now having it for her is really interesting and I feel ultimately productive like when you have a kid or when you have a child that you're watching um, you really get as much work done as you can in the moments that you can like when I posted about having a productive time while she naps a lot of moms and parents out there had commented on my TikTok and stuff saying like what I nap during that time too which I do do but there are those days where it's like you have to take you know advantage of that small amount of time that you have but we're gonna be driving JJ to the airport in the morning at like 7 and then he will be there for the rest of the week Tuesday we'll be driving Mason to Dallas I wanted to update you guys on a few things that I've done and things that are going on especially since my last video because I know that I told you guys that I am going to be getting off of birth control this year so I'm wanting to do natural cycles and if you guys have experience with it, I know some of you guys commented, but definitely let me know what you guys think of it because I've heard great things about it, honestly. But I kind of dove into why I'm getting off birth control, basically just my IUD is expiring and I'll be 26 at the beginning of next year and it's like, I don't really want to keep putting hormones into my body. So with me getting off of birth control, I decided that I'm going to, well, I already did order an aura ring. I really want to use it more so just to help track my cycle, but I know that there's so many benefits to having an aura ring and that there's their amazing technology. I've never really been somebody that's like infatuated with numbers. Like I, I don't know the last time that I wore my Apple Watch and I also don't know where it is. I lose it very often, but I liked my Apple Watch honestly, just because it would give me my notifications, even though I was typically holding my phone. But I think that it'll be really helpful and interesting to see obviously myself off of birth control. I've been on it for, it'll be like eight years by the time I come off of it. And I don't know what my, you know, adulthood hormones would have been because I got on it when I was like 16 years old. So 
I got an aura ring. I did go ahead and order the sizing kit. And if you guys follow Sophia Panella, I think how, that's how you say your last name. She's amazing on TikTok and she has just documented her whole like journey coming off of birth control. And I felt like she was the right person to ask about getting the aura ring, natural cycles, all that stuff because she's just so well educated. And I obviously need to dive in and get a grasp on these things myself. It's really cool to have just people that you follow be a resource for so many things you might have questions on. I got Horizon one, which is just the smooth version in gold. I don't know. I was kind of like going back and forth between them because I was not sure which one I wanted to do, but I just went ahead and got that one. So give me your guys' thoughts, opinions, and you know, comments and concerns of the aura ring because I'm definitely interested as diving into the whole schedule thing and productivity. I feel like, I don't know, I work well with Mason's schedule right now, but it's really allowed me to value that time that I have when I am by myself and I don't have to take care of another human being and be on their exact schedule. So I want to be able to wake up super early. If you guys remember my week of workouts videos, all my vlogs from like, I think it's two years ago now, I was waking up at 5 a.m. and getting to the gym and like starting my day super early. And I loved that. But I think that I talked about when I moved here, it's like just a different environment and a different vibe and space where I don't know, I don't feel the pressure to get up early. And I honestly feel like I was doing that in the winter there and winter here is not as brutal because I felt like I couldn't leave the house. That was the only thing I had to look forward to. So I kind of set it up as a challenge for myself and all of that good stuff. But I want to wake up and I would like to go on a run. I was planning to do this like a month ago, honestly, but then I got Mason and it just got postponed. So I want to wake up and like go on a run or go on a jog, just be outside earlier in the morning, especially in Houston where it's hot literally all the time. So I'll definitely bring you guys along for that. So I can give you my commentary and my thoughts and opinions and all of that. I don't know. I feel like life has kind of been the same. It's just really my days have been filled with trying to find things that interest Mason and occupy occupy her time and you know like feed her interest and allow her to think and you know explore and all that and it's been cool to be you know somebody that can facilitate that for her because her mom works full time so she does get to go to daycare and stuff and hang out with other kids but like yesterday we went and hung out with Lee and Caitlin and Legacy who's four and just swam at night with them and it was just really nice to have like that type of schedule and that that amount of freedom to bring her along so it's been really cool I have definitely loved being able to watch my niece and I hope that every single summer I can do this and take her for a month or so because it's really enjoyable for me and JJ and I know like in the next couple of years we're probably gonna have a little a little tidbit baby or something like that so it'll be interesting to just I don't know I, I feel like not a lot of people probably get this type of experience where they can get the kid for a month and then give them back before they have their own so it's it's nice that I can kind of experience that in me and JJ just hop into the role of aunt and uncle very quickly and easily like I said in my other video I feel like I haven't had time to sit down and be by myself in like probably two months now because the Florida trip and Manchester, I feel like Manchester was a long time ago, but it really wasn't that long ago. It was like April, I think. And then May, we went to Florida. June, I have Mason all of June. So it's like, I haven't had a moment to really just be in my routine and do my own thing, which is cool because I've been able to acclimate and I've enjoyed these experiences, but definitely ready to get back into my little zone. Not a huge update, but I think that just like thinking of JJ and I's future, me and him. Our, our dream and our future is to build a barn dominium and live in that and have everything that we need there. I don't know if I've told you guys that, but that's definitely our dream and to just have land. And you guys know JJ's a little country boy, so that would be amazing. But I don't know, I think we have like another year in this house, but when the time comes for us to buy a house, we're just in that little debate right now of trying to figure out like, do we wanna buy land and build or do we wanna just buy a new construction? Do we wanna buy an older house? Just all of that. It's so crazy that this is now just like a topic in our lives because if you guys have followed me for a while now or watched my older videos, you know that JJ and I had this much when we got together. Literally faith. We had faith and love for each other and it's just been amazing that we've been on this journey for almost seven years together and you guys have been a part of it for literally almost seven years and just seen so many changes in our lives and honestly I have you guys and God to thank for that because I know for a fact honestly that none of this would be possible and my life wouldn't be the way that it is and I wouldn't be in this position if it weren't for you guys. Like I wouldn't be able to take my niece for a month out of the summer and 
and I wouldn't be able to, you know, give back to you guys and do my giveaways and I wouldn't be able to live in this house and I don't know, just so much could be different and I think about it every single day, how thankful I am and how appreciative I am that I have a community like you guys and I think that just when I get to see you guys in person, it just, it's so full circle. Like the girl I met today, Victoria, it really just blows my mind and shocks me that I as a person can just live my life and hopefully give you guys the hope and, you know, confidence that you need to go on in your days and have a, a good positive mindset and push for what you want and work hard and you could hopefully see like that you can do these things too because I I don't know it's weird because I'm in the influencer space and I'm in the content creator space but in general like I've talked about this with my friends a lot where I don't know a lot of people use social media as a stepping stone to like grow a business or to promote a product and I love that for them but genuinely my dream in life I've talked about this I think on Kelty and Sal's podcast too my goal in life my dream in life is to be just stable mentally physically financially whatever that may be spiritually and i just want to have a family i just want to cultivate experiences and a life that is simple and not stressful and i don't know if it's just like depending on where you come from you might understand that more than others but at the end of the day like all i want is to be able to provide for myself and my future family and the people around me and i want to provide stability and strength and hope and happiness and love like that's all i want and it's amazing to me that through my job and through me sharing my life i've been able to you know make that a thing and create this experience that you guys get to be such a big part of so when I tell you guys that I'm thankful for you, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I truly, truly do. So my camera's gonna die because I'm talking your ear off, but I just want you guys to know that I love you. I appreciate all of the love and support. You guys always sticking by me, whatever phase of my life or stage of my life that I'm in, you guys are always there with so much love. And I can't tell you how much it means to me, JJ, my own family outside of just me and him, his family, just, I don't know. Everybody in my life knows what my life is and my job is so, it's something that I take so seriously and it's not always easy but it's so worth it to me to show up for you guys and to show up for myself and to show you that you can live like a simple life or you can live whatever life that you want but I'm so thankful that I get to share my life and all of this with you guys so if I don't see you in the morning I'll see you in the next video if you guys enjoy this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it and also be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss a video with me you guys can also keep up with me every single day on Instagram and TikTok at Libby Christensen and I will talk to you guys later.